Okay, this tutorial is about how to solve low disk space problems. For example, this one, low disk space. You are running very low on disk space on that certain partition, which is the C drive. Okay, here's a list of what we can do in this situation. First of all, these are the symptoms that the programs don't start. For example, here's a photo and it's not displaying the content of the image but displaying an error message so I can start that uh, program Windows Photo Viewer or programs work incorrectly for example here is Steam and it says Steam needs 250 megabytes of free disk space to update and here's the C drive Let's go to properties and we can see that 100 kilobytes is free. So free space is the pink and we don't have almost anything free there. Okay, or programs might give certain error messages like Steam did before. For example, if you press the Alt key on the keyboard. Alt key, let's go to tools, folder options and view and uncheck hide protected operating system files yes and click show hidden files and click ok then we can see that there's a hibernation file hiber fill sys and it's 1.5 gigabytes in size so we can disable that to disable hibernation let's go to start menu type cmd for the command prompt CMD and let's type power CFG power CFG space minus H from hibernate and another space and off so it's power CFG minus H and off and after pressing enter notice that this file page file not page file Hyper sys that will disappear. So I'm pressing enter up here, and that file just disappeared. And let's take a look. Right click on an empty space properties, and we already have 1.5 gigabytes of free space. Okay, so we can reduce the page file size, or we can change the location of the page file. Let's go to computer, right click computer, properties, advanced system settings and here at performance click settings, then advanced and change. And here we can see that on the C drive the page file is enabled and the size is set minimum 200 megabytes and maximum 2000 megabytes so we can click no paging file and click set yes notice that the size disappeared from there and we can enable it on another partition let's say on the D partition and either choose the same settings or system managed and click set notice that the page file is managed by the computer on the D drive so it's no longer present on the C drive okay and we can see that also maybe or maybe not so this is the file page file sys and it's 200 megabytes and after clicking OK, ah, OK, that needs a restart. But on the D drive, the page file was already created. OK, so we moved the page file. Restart later, not now. OK, another trick we can clear the Internet Browser's cache, for example. We have Internet Explorer here, and let's go to this icon, this this wheel, 
uh, safety and delete browsing history and uncheck preserve favorites check download history form data you can keep the passwords tracking protection okay and click delete Internet Explorer has finished deleting the selected browsing history okay let's close the browser or if you're using Mozilla Firefox then press Ctrl Shift and delete on the keyboard Ctrl Shift delete and clear recent history set it to everything site preferences offline website data and clear now or if you're using Google Chrome Ctrl Shift and delete again set it to the beginning of time and check everything except your passwords for example and clear browsing data let's check the size of the free space on drive C 1.69 gigabytes okay we can delete the temporary files so let's go here in file explorer and up here in the address bar let's type in percent temp and percent so it's percent temp percent press enter and everything you see here it's in Windows's temporary folder so just press Ctrl A on the keyboard Ctrl plus A and that selects all the files and delete are you sure you want to move these 26 items to the recycle bin? yes the action can be completed because the file is open in Explorer that single file, ok, skip it so we deleted the majority of files and one single file cannot be deleted that's no problem ok, now we can go to the recycle bin also right click on it and empty recycle bin are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? yes and now let's see on the C drive properties 1.88 gigabytes free space so the pink is increasing okay let's see what, what we can do more delete unneeded files folders on the C drive okay so let's search for something that we don't need and here is this folder called music and it has some mp3 songs there and I don't need those files let's see the size 200 megabytes okay we can delete that one music delete yes let's empty the recycle bin also permanently delete music yes let's see the size 2.1 gigabytes free okay another solution another method is to uninstall certain programs that we don't need so let's go to the start menu control panel and uninstall a program and from here we can choose a few programs and uninstall those to remove yes remove everything has been removed okay let's remove another one okay and in this way we can remove every program that we don't need okay let's check the free space now 2.14 okay remove windows components so that's similar to uninstalling programs let's go to the start menu control panel and uninstall the program and here turn windows features on or off and from here from this menu if we don't need something we can remove it for example windows gadget platform that's this clock for example okay let's wait until that finishes that won't save too much space but we'll try it okay I'll restart later not right now okay and another way is to make the C drive larger 
To do that we need a program. Let's download for example Aomi Partition Assistant. Aomi Partition Assistant. Let's download that one. Download free partition manager. Partition assistant. Download freeware. Do you want to run or save? And it's 8 megabytes. Let's run it directly. So this is a small partition manager tool with everything that we need. Okay, and here's the program. We can close the internet browser. Close all tabs, yes. Let's close this windows also. So we're installing AOMI Partition Assistant. Next, accept, next, 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 desktop icon, next, install. Run this program, OK. Click finish. And here's the C drive. And I have three hard drives in this computer. And this is the drive that I want to make larger. Okay, so let's click on the next partition. First of all, we have to reduce the size of this partition. And then this one can be extended over that empty space. So right click the next partition and resize partition. And drag the beginning of the drive. And notice that unallocated space before is 11 gigabytes let's add just a few gigabytes let's say 3 gigabytes okay so we created 3 gigabytes of free space and now this one can be extended over that space so right click the C drive resize and drag the end of that partition and click OK and notice that the new drive will be 13 gigabytes okay so this these changes are not yet applied okay so let's click apply and proceed are you want to start yes the program found some errors on the partition. Would you like to fix it now? Okay, fix it. Okay, the process has finished. Congratulations, all operations have been completed successfully. You can share your experience and happiness with others on the forum. Okay. <laughs> so let's close the program. And let's see the C drive. Right click C drive and properties. And now instead of 10 gigabytes, the total size, total capacity of this drive is around 13 gigabytes. So we added around 5 gigabytes more free space to this drive. Okay, that's it. On how to solve the load this space error in Windows. This was Windows 7, but you can do the same thing with uh, minor differences in Windows 8 or 8.1. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.